Hello everyone, my name is Jeffrey Hunt and today I'm going to talk to you about gun control. During this speech I'm going to explain to you what is gun control. I'm also going to be talking to you about how guns actually save lives and prevent violent crimes from happening. And lastly I'm going to conclude with how gun control actually infringes upon your rights and freedoms as American citizens. So without further ado let's get started. So first of all, what is gun control? Gun control refers to any laws or policies that regulate the manufacturing, selling, transferring, possession, or modifications, or use of any firearms. So basically, by taking away guns from the American people, the government wants to basically victimize you. After all, how can you defend yourself without a gun if someone's pointing a gun at you? You can't use hand-to-hand -hand unless you're really skilled in martial arts, and even then it's still impossible. And... I don't know about you, but I can't throw a knife as fast as a gun can shoot a bullet. And after all, you know what they say, don't bring a knife to a gunfight. So, how will you be able to defend yourself? You won't. You'll be defenseless, you'll be helpless, and you'll be victimized. And this is what the government wants, because they think that having stricter gun policies will protect the people, when all actuality, according to the book entitled... More Guns, Less Crime, Understanding Crime and Gun Control Laws by Dr. John Lott. He states that states with the largest increase in gun ownership also have the largest drops in violent crimes. So this means the more guns people own, the less crimes there are. So why? what makes them think that taking the guns away will have the same effect? It's actually the opposite. After all, if you're a terrorist or someone who wants to harm someone or steal someone or do anything, all you have to do is have a gun. Because what are they going to do to defend themselves? They're going to be helpless. And who are they going to let the guns be belong to? The law enforcement, military, and they can't stop the terrorists. You know, people smuggling things all the time. So how are they going to stop the terrorists from having guns and you know using them to promote their agenda they can't so they're just trying to leave us helpless and I don't understand that <clears throat> but let me move on to my next topic which is how guns actually save lives and prevent violent crimes when doing some research I uncovered that according to the armed and considered dangerous a survey of felons and firearms survey done by James Wright, Peter Rosie, and Adeline in 1986, 60% of convicted felons admitted avoiding committing violent crimes if they knew a person had a firearm. 60%. So this means they consciously thought, okay, why would I go and steal this person's stuff or harm them or anything if I know... I won't survive because they'll be able to defend themselves. That's exactly the thought process that goes on in the criminals' heads. They're not all stupid and they don't always just react out of random acts of violence. They actually think about what's going to happen before they actually act. They're not all stupid. Some of them are actually smart. So in knowing this and knowing that you have a gun, it makes them think, hmm, I shouldn't attack him. I should go down the street or to the next town where they don't have guns so I can go take from them. That's what they're thinking. And this just isn't isn't tolerable. It isn't it isn't right. As I continued to read in this survey, I noticed that 40% of felons avoided committing crimes if they even thought the victim had a firearm. So the very thought of you owning a firearm deters the the criminal so why would why do they want to take the guns away again I don't know it's crazy but let me move on to my next topic which is the infringement upon the freedoms and rights that we have as American citizens so when this great country was built and discovered and established upon in 1776 our people escaped from Great Britain to escape the religious freedoms or religious persecution of their freedoms that they were forced upon. They wanted to be free. This is the land of the free, the home of the brave. 
how can we be free if we can't even own guns? And how can we be brave to go outside and to work and to want to live our lives if we're constantly a target because we can't defend ourselves? And according to the Constitution of the United States, written in 1787 by Thomas Jefferson, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed upon. So the government wants to take this away from us. I don't understand it. This is what our nation was founded upon. If they do this, we'll be defenseless, helpless, and we won't be able to protect ourselves, and we'll just be sitting ducks. I don't want this. I know you don't want this. Guns can actually save lives, and I'm all for it. Thank you for listening, and I hope you're on my side.